Welcome to VicoCo, the online vegan cooking school. My name is Steve Lim, and today I'm gonna to cover mirepoix, what its purpose is, and how to actually make it right. Mirepoix is one of those things that you'll see, and you might even read in a recipe all the ingredients, but may not know what the name of it is. And it's really celery, onion, carrots. And the ratio is two parts of onion, one part of carrot and one part of celery. And that is the perfect ratio for your mirepoix. And a mirepoix is really good for any kind of stocks, sauces, or any the base of almost any dish. Now the size of your mirepoix is really gonna be dependent on what your purpose is going to be. If you're going to roast it so you get nice, really dark caramelized coloring, you're gonna to wanna to keep the pieces a little bit thicker. If you're gonna add it into stocks or sauces, you're gonna go a little bit smaller, but they're still not gonna be a fine bounois cut. They're gonna be a little bit chunky, but you're gonna try and make sure that they're uniformly shaped so that they can cook all at the same time. So we're gonna start off with the onion, and the onion is really simple. You're going to take the core, you're gonna leave that core in there, you're gonna put it away from you, and you're just going to make one slice in the middle, right across like this horizontal knife, very gently, very easily, right into the middle. Right, so, but not all the way through. You're gonna keep it about a centimeter from the back, take it out, rotate it 90 degrees, and then you're gonna make a few cuts lengthwise like this. Just like so, now we have these little pieces. Again, rotate it 90 degrees, and then we're gonna cut half a centimeter to about a centimeter in length, and this cut down. All the way to that magic spot, about a centimeter from the end, and then you're just gonna flip that down, cut out the core, and then finish slicing these pieces. And the reason you cut the core out is because when you're roasting it, or when you're cooking it in a sauce or in a stock, that core never loses that shape, and it's a little bit bitter, and to really make a nice sauce, you wanna take that out. So there you have the onions, and th at this size, what this size is really good for is your sauces. This is the perfect size for that. It'll caramelize nice in the pan without burning too quickly. Make sure that they're roughly the same size, and you'll have a beautiful, beautiful cut there. A little bit bigger, and that's one of the ones you want for roasting. Next up, we're gonna do the carrot. Carrot, again, is gonna be roughly the same size as the onion, and we're just gonna cut here to create a nice, flat surface to make it cutting a little bit more stable. And then we're gonna rotate it onto that cut surface. And we're gonna make about two lengthways cuts. So now we have these three pieces, four pieces if you count this one. And then we're just gonna cut it again in half. We're gonna rotate them again, 90 degrees, level them off, and then cut them down. As you can see, they're about the same size as the onion. And lastly, the celery. So we have our stock of celery. We're just, just to make it easier, we're gonna cut it in half and we're gonna cut down the middle. So we have a nice strip like this. And then on this one here, as you can see, it kind of tapers wider. We're just where it starts to break, we'll get a little bit wider. We're gonna cut that part out, cut this in half. And in this piece, we're gonna cut it into thirds, like so. And these ones are all in the half. So you have roughly the same size of pieces throughout. Then we're gonna rotate it to 90 again, level it off. If you're uncomfortable with this much salary, just take a couple pieces back. You don't have to push too hard because it all be about the same. So then you just cut down and there you have mirepoix, celery, carrots, onions. This is the perfect size, once again, for your sauces. If you're gonna roast it, cut it a little bit thicker, but otherwise, this is perfect. We're gonna be using this mirepoix for chili squash. Make sure you check out that video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to see future tips and cooking videos from VicoCo.